Well, now back to the courtroom for a former state delegate accused of crimes against the federal government. Just a few hours ago, Ron Villanueva faced a judge for arraignment. He's accused of conspiracy to defraud the federal government, falsifying records, and helping others file false documents. Then your side's Andy Fox talked with Villanueva before his hearing. Ron Villanueva is saddened by his situation, but is also looking forward to his day in court. Ron Villanueva had not yet showed up at federal court, but his supporters were already here. Friendship runs deep no matter what. No matter what, as Villanueva faces four federal charges and he showed up planning to plead not guilty. What do you want to say about your being not guilty? Well, Andy, I just want to say God bless everyone and um, um, pleading not guilty. This former member of the House of Delegates pleaded not guilty to conspiracy to defraud the United States, one count falsification of records, and two counts aiding with false written statements. He wouldn't discuss the charges, but he is aware of the support. What do you want to say about friendship running deep? I'm blessed and um, God's here with me and he's going to share the light. Federal prosecutors allege Villanueva made numerous false representations and statements involving a business he was helping, that he misled the Small Business Administration and that he and others benefited from $80 million in contracts that were fraudulently awarded, that he received over $1 million from two companies that fraudulently received contracts with Villanueva's help, according to court documents. Is there anything you want to say about the charges? Uh, not at this time. I'm here to provide moral support for our native son, who I think is being charged. Unfairly? Quite unfairly. Because he's a minority, and it's about minority business affairs. There's no doubt Ron Villanueva has support, but the real question is, can he convince a jury of his peers that he did nothing wrong? Trial set for June 4th. In Norfolk, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.